But yeah, have you ever thought about how mobs are the scariest thing ever? Because, like, an angry mob, an angry idiot mob, and they're out to kill you because of a misunderstanding. But they're so stupid, they'll never stop. Essentially, that's what zombies are. You can't reason with them, and there's so many of them. And, you know, they could be good guys, but they're trying to kill you because you can't reason with them and they're stupid. Zombies are similar because, you know, because they're dead, they want to eat you. And you can't reason with them because they're brain dead, but it's the same thing with real people with pitchforks. It's the scariest thing ever. It's scarier than just one dr vampire or whatever. Anyway. Let's catch some beaches. Oh, I remember. The thing. you got to catch three monkeys to get through. And here they are. Why did it slow down so much? Oh my god. Whoa. Going in the water, are you? Not for long. You're going in the van. You. Oh, one. One more, and then I'll have a, a thing. This was the nicest level, uh, in terms of just a nice atmosphere. I mean, obviously, because look at that. It reminds me of Crash Bandicoot, actually. What was that level in Crash Bandicoot Warped? Where you ride around as Coco on a speeder. Or maybe it wasn't Coco. You ride around as someone on a speeder, Crash. On a speeder, and there's pirates and bombs. And this water look has got that same look. And it's the same as the background. It's just so nice. What is it about all this stuff that is so much nicer than HD graphics? I'll tell you what it is. It's the shaders. The shaders have ruined everything. People think things have got to have light and shade and shadows and lighting engines and all that bullshit. You don't need it. You don't need any of it. You could have pre-made shadows like this, just painted on the ground to be that color. The only reason you want a lighting thing is if your game involves... Can I not kill this guy? Oh, you can't kill them. You just fall over them. Yeah, the only reason you'd need a lighting thing is... Is that something down there? Is if you're doing a game that has like a day-night cycle and you need the lighting to change constantly. Other than that, you don't need a shader engine, you don't need shadows, you don't need realistic anything. You just, you know, you just colour it in. You colour it in, the lighting ruins everything. For me, anyway. And it's not like the lighting, like seeing a lighting engine immediately makes me think, well this is bad. But like, this is so much nicer because it doesn't have any of that, you know, lens flare or whatever. It's just really nice colours. Ah! Whoa, that was close. Why can't I change the camera? There we go. Hmm. What do I oh, I know what to do. Gotta do this. Yeah, I like doing this. You couldn't really do it in the next game. Come on, you asshole. Just sleep on it. Shit. that guy. Okay, here we go. UFO battle. I hate these. They're the worst. You might think, well, why aren't you shooting it with your Y thing? But you know what? It's much harder to do. Much, much harder because they move around like no other flying enemy in the game. So quick, so easily turning, like, no not notice whatsoever. They just turn whenever they fucking want. 
And why is he over there? Yeah, he's just not going to come over here, is he? I want to see. Shit. No. Ugh. Okay. Speed. Speed run. Now that the guy's gone, the other guy can't go. You, I can't get over there. That's bullshit. I hate that. I gotta go further into the game, get the the flying gadget thing, and then come back. What a load of shit. That's one thing I just don't like in general, having to go back. I mean, it's kind of cool because it sort of rewards you for, you know, completing stuff. Like if you didn't get everything the first time and then you find something that might help and if you feel like going back you can but you don't need to but it's like what is it like? I don't know what it's like what am I saying? I could just get this guy I don't want him too easy you know you gotta get the annoying ones which is why I really wanted to get that, that UFO but now that I can't the next time I come here it's just gonna be annoying Well, maybe that's the only guy I can get. Shit. Well... Why is it so slow now? What's different? What is different? There's nothing extra here. He just woke up. Is it his animation? Oh, I got him. Get off of that umbrella. You're gonna break it. So, while that's one of the nicest levels in, you know, scenery, or at least in that first beach level, it's not actually a fun level. I don't like the caves afterwards, or the, the rocky bits, because you need the flying thing, and you don't have that now, you don't have it for a while. You just gotta keep playing the game and forget about those monkeys that you couldn't get. Ah, water. Swimming. Five monkeys. No problem. Oh yeah, this is the one with the hammerhead shark. How do I get that one? I can't remember. Oh, it's the one with both the sharks. It has the other shark as well, yeah. These were scary. Not really, like... Well, it was just scary enough to make me not wanna... I mean, how do... What do you do? What do you do to... What do you do to get the monkey? I really honestly have have no clue how you're supposed to do that. I mean, I did it once, but what did I do? It's been a while since I've been on this particular level. That is an annoying enemy. Uh, what's this? Can't get up there. Hmm. Oh, there's this. Silly me. I can't see what it's doing, because I'm not allowed to see. But yeah, that's what I figured. Fuck. Okay. You just gotta breathe fucking quick. Alright, that's too slow. I hate the fact you can't kill these crabs because they do really annoy you when you're trying to walk.
Okay, one out of five. 